<laughs> How much does this win against a team like Cincinnati coming from behind after what you guys have battled the last two seasons against them mean to y'all? I mean, for me, it means a lot. You know, um, I played against Cincy since my freshman year at, at Villanova, and I was, I was one and five in five. You know, uh, told the fellas like they they they've had our number since me and Nick got here, and um, we really needed this. It's just as simple as that. Obviously, you want to win every time you go on the floor. How gratifying is this to win under these circumstances to play with seven, six? <laughs> That's an easy one, six. Uh, Sorry. I mean, so the character and the fight and everybody we have, um, even though we play with six, uh, you can get the job done. Um, coach always says if we could play with five, we still play with five. But he says that four is illegal, so they're not going to let us do it. You said during the week that you only need five to win. Right. Once you were down to six, did you ever doubt the outcome at all? No. We got a model of next man up. Next man up. Next man up. That's what it is. Jarek, yeah. man, hit a, a huge three with, with, I think, 230, 240 left on the clock. I mean, the, the plays that Shake always makes is unbelievable. I mean, Ben Moore has been... Our best player this year, in my opinion, you know, JT. Like, like LB, uh, LB said, <laughs> yeah, he made himself a lot of money today with the game he had. So, I mean, <laughs> at, at the end of the day, it's just like next man up. Everybody, you know, we already know what Sterling brings to the table, you know, um, and and we had to do this for him. You know how much, how much passion he got for this team and how much this stuff means to him personally. There's no way we could lose this game after they threw him up. With three minutes, 40 seconds left in the game, uh, there's a timeout. You guys are down by seven. You come out, go on an 11 four <coughs> run. To Winning time. Game. Winning time. What did you guys say in that break? Winning time. That's it. Winning time. Winning time. time. Winning Winning time. time. Winning That's what it Winning is. Time. Winning well, nothing time. Nothing else matters. Execute. Everything else out the window. You gotta get stopped and execute. Shit. Winning time. You think you can win with four players? Sterling, what explanation did you get for the ejection? No. No, no. They gave me the explanation for him. All right, what'd they tell you? He said, because uh, he was at the <coughs> scores table, he walked off, he walked in front of the scores table, walked off at the scores table. They ejected him for that. It's kind of like leaving the bench. But didn't a Cincinnati player walk in from the scores table with you? I have no comments. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> We're already playing seven. We don't need lanes to get around. Ben, you had to slide out over to the three with Sterling out, though. How comfortable were you doing that? You hadn't really had too much time out at the three since last year. What was that like having to be out there? Uh, I mean, it was fine. I think we're all pretty, you know, we're all basketball players. I say that so we could all play one through five, and I learned the three from uh, Sterling pretty well. So, I think so. I can play the five. Yep. <laughs> Would you like to? Oh yeah. Every small man want to be a big man. Every big man want to be a point guard. It's just life. It's true. It's true. It's true. What was Coach Brown like after this one? He's won a ton of games, but these were unusual circumstances. What was he like in the locker room with you guys? He really didn't have much to say to me. Right. Which is the first. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. said we really got to get better. Um, right. We pulled it out, but. I mean, there's always room for a team to grow, and we're trying to be the best team. We're trying to not be good, we're trying to be great, so we still got some work to do. That's what he told us. Is that as loud as you've heard Moody in your time here? No. Mm -mm. no. Uh, uh, you UConn. Some crazy games. <laughs> first, first, first Moody opener against UConn. Uh, when they rushed the court against Cincy, uh, our first time beating Louisville. Last uh, year at Temple. Temple um, last year. I remember year. that coming back from 10 down. Yeah. That was uh, rocking. Uh, Tulsa. Um, Tulsa came in here. It was real loud. Um, um, yeah, Moody always is always loud down there. It's, that's something that you just expect now. Give you the goosebumps. Yeah. Goosebumps. <laughs> 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 I got to be honest. <laughs> what was the conversation like at halftime? What were your points of focus? <coughs> Trailing by two. They're not gonna keep hitting shots. It's, like we 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 know what we do. We we play we play defense. I mean we we share the ball. We execute. The team gets hot. 
and, and it's going on a run, or we, we just stand tall, you know, uh, we can't let that affect us. Because we know that, that the ball going in the first half, put a little bit more pressure on them. The ball going in the second half, they're going to beat anybody in the world. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if they just hitting a bunch of threes, we just got to live with it. But we, they're not going to keep hitting shots. That's what we say all the time when we're down. We know we're playing good defense. It's not as... It's just, it's, they just were hitting shots. We're going to be every team's best game. They're going to give it their best shot no matter what. We one and two undefeated. We, we can get a team in the tournament if they beat us. So people coming out that don't, that don't really have good games, crazy games, coming out hitting three, three threes. I mean, Bo Ziegler from USA <coughs> is one for five when he hit two on us. So that's just how it goes. You guys have had some close games earlier this season, TCU, Colorado, things like that. But did you guys need a game like this against a team like Cincinnati in conference play? Yeah, definitely. We'll go to the drawing board tomorrow, figure out um, how we're going to get better. Like Nick said, there's always room to improve. I'm sure teams are going to zone us more and more, put more pressure on them because we got smart. We can't go in our pen. We don't have any bench. You know, so it's, uh, it's back to the drawing board. Anything else? All of you guys played a lot of minutes as the bench has gotten shorter and shorter. Do you feel physically different than you did after some games earlier in the season when you had a couple more guys to lean on? It's basketball. I'd rather have these games than LB's practices. It's just fun, man. We just doing what we love. Just one playing. back, huh? Did Jordan talk about? That, that last segment, though, you had the tip in and then the block. I mean, obviously, big plays in this game, and one of the few shots that Nick missed there. Oh, um, I, I knew I just had to keep on playing to the to the uh, end of the wire. You know, I looked up at three minutes and forty seconds, so I was down seven. You know, but I looked at my teammates' eyes, and uh, I knew nobody was gonna let up, so I knew I couldn't let up. So I had to come through for the team. It's like they do for me all the time.